Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be sharing some books that were really quick reads for me and they might be for you as well. We're nearing the end of the year and some of us might be trying to read as many books as possible to meet our reading goal, our Goodreads goal. These books are so fast paced that I feel like you could read them in three days or less. Um, that might be really fast for some people, so don't feel like that's like the time frame you have to stick to. Um, but for me, reading a book within three days is a fast read for me, and all of these books I did read within three days. So I would recommend them if you want to get into like a really fun, fast-paced story, or just the book was like so good that I just wanted to keep reading. Um, it wasn't necessarily like a fast-paced plot, but like it was just so well done that I couldn't help but read it. So I'm going to share all of the books with you. I think they're all Christian except for a couple. Um, so I'm going to dive in. The If I Run Trilogy by Terry Blackstock. This first book in particular is super fast paced. You hit the ground running as soon as you start. This follows a girl who is running from the police because she knows that her DNA is going to be all over a crime scene and that she's going to be blamed for it. So she runs away because she's like, I can't trust the police, the police are corrupt, so she's running from them. And just that alone is really interesting because she's actually smart. Like, she's a nice character to follow because she changes her identity, like, in a smart way, I feel like. Um, she, like, you know, disposes of her phone and, like, she really does make it hard to track her. And I think she does a great job of it, so I thought it was really interesting to read. So that's one of the perspectives you're following, and then you also follow... Um, a, a detective, a detective? Or he is coming back from the war and he kind of gets, he gets hired by the family of the victim to try to find her. So the police are like looking for her. That's like the big, she's the main sus suspect. So um, you get another perspective of this guy who is also looking for her and you get to see like just how, how it all works. It was really good. So you get to see what she is up to and then also what he's up to and how their paths cross. Um, you end up following like kind of a little side story almost with the girl. Um, she ends up in a small town and you follow a couple people in that town as well. And that was just like one of my favorite parts of the book. And it ends in such a way that it's like you have to read the next book. Like this whole trilogy is just so fast paced, so well done. I think it's one of Terry Blackstock's best. So would definitely recommend If I Run, if you're looking for a fast paced book. Um, another Terry Blackstock book that I would recommend is Smokescreen. This is just a standalone and I recently read it. And it was also fast paced for me. I felt like because it started off so strong and like in an interesting way, it, it hooked me right away. Um, because you follow this mother who is divorced and she's going through custody battles with her ex-husband and she has two kids and the way she copes with the stress is she drinks so I guess just because it, it started off so strongly showing her addiction with alcohol I just was intrigued from the beginning and then you get another perspective of a, a firefighter and he ends up in a fire and gets burned and so He's on bed rest, he moves back home into the same town that this um, woman lives in and they knew each other from childhood so it's their romance but then there's also like issues with the custody that the girl or the woman is going through and you get to see her family life a little bit and her battle with alcohol and I just thought it was so well done. I just, there was a lot of aspects to the book that I thought made it really strong and I really enjoyed it, so that would also be a quick read for me. Okay, I'm gonna switch gears a little bit and talk about two YA books. So the first one is Anomaly by Krista McGee. This book is very unique, and I think that's what makes it a fast read because it's just so different and fascinating that I felt like it was like compulsively readable. So this follows a futuristic world where um, World War III happened and there was like, I think it was nuclear, so it's not safe to be above ground. So all of society has moved underground. And you follow this society where scientists have figure out, figured out how to make people. Not necessarily clone them, they like actually create DNA to make a person. And each person that they make has a certain function and so they're like genetically altered to do a certain skill and so you follow a girl who was created to be a musician and right I think I think she's yeah she was created to be a musician 
and she this is a Christian book by the way it's very fascinating she has always felt kind of not like the rest and there have been others like her but it's like you know kept on the down low but she is just like not she just can't conform to the society as easily um, she actually ends up expressing herself through her music which is so beautiful to read about um, and she ends up making friends with this older man who who was not genetically created he actually was born he was a part of the first group of people that went underground after world war three and he befriends her and he ends up introducing her to the creator or god and she knows what he's talking about she's curious she's like okay i i feel like there is a, a higher power that has been communicating with me like and i feel him through my music and stuff so she's like kind of exploring faith like that which is so fascinating to read about and a lot of different things come out about the underground society a lot of corruption of course and it just goes from there but i found this first book like really strong um unfortunately i didn't love the rest of the trilogy the second two books i could take them or leave them i could leave them actually i didn't really enjoy them i thought it went too wild but this first one i thought was really good and it was definitely a quick read i was fascinated the whole time Another fast YA read is the Pivot Point duology. I think it's Pivot Point duology. And these books are cool because they follow like like a like a society in America that has expanded their minds so that they have mind powers and they have like a whole government system and rules that keep them a secret from everything else. So the kids are like trained to make sure they never expose themselves to the real world and you can either stay living in the society or you can choose to go and move out into with normal people so you follow this girl who has the power to see into her own future so if she if there's something that's gonna happen she can like see the two not two but like the different outcomes of an event depending on what choices she makes and she can see like as far as she wants to so it's really interesting and the whole premise of the book is that her parents are getting a divorce and the dad is going to leave the society and live out in the normal world and she gets to decide is she going to stay or go and so this book alternates chapters seeing what would happen if she stayed and if she left and it is so good it's really fascinating funny cute cute romance and i just love the like superpower mind power type story in here too so i loved it i definitely think they're fast paced this second book is equally as good so if you liked the first book i think you'll also like the second book <sighs> yes it's very well done so i would definitely recommend these for fast paced books okay switching back gears again um i would also recommend happiness for beginners by Catherine center as a fast paced book just because i guess for me because it's the first book that i read by her i was really getting to know her writing and it, it's almost like I wanted to read it as fast as I could because I wanted to know what happens because this follows a woman who is recently divorced and she feels like she hasn't really lived um, she's lived her life safely and she wants to just like expose herself to new experiences and just like break out of her shell a little bit so she signs up for like a wilderness survival class and she finds out that her brother's best friend also signed up for it and he is like five years younger than her or maybe even more than that he's much younger than her and he has always kind of like had a crush on her but she's like you're my little brother's friend like no so anyways they both end up going and he's like hey I'll drive you there like and she's like okay fine um, she kind of wanted to do this by herself but he's tagging along um, the one thing is when they stay in a hotel room one night while they're waiting for the class to start and there is like a pretty steamy makeout session it doesn't go past that but I was like a little uncomfortable by it so you know I would definitely skip that but after that the rest of the book is totally clean so you know the main part of the book is them doing this survival class and it is I loved seeing this woman's progression of accepting herself believing in herself like gaining confidence it's like it's almost coming of age even though she's like 30 I think so it just I just loved it I loved seeing 
her development throughout the whole thing and then also the development development of their friendship and then their romantic relationship as well it's not just like a light book it's like really profound in my opinion and i found it really fast paced because like every day something was happening while they were in the wilderness and I thought it was great so yeah I definitely found it fast-paced and if you end up liking this book there is kind of like a companion sequel to it called what you wish for um, it follows the girl's brother so I didn't know that when I read them separately but then I was like oh that's great okay another fast-paced book is love and a little white lie by Tommy L. Gray <sighs> I love this book it is fast-paced because to me it's quite funny because you follow this girl who is not a Christian, she doesn't believe in God, she thinks faith is a crutch, but she's really down on her luck, she's feeling desperate, and her aunt invites her to come live with her, and also arranges for her to have an interview at a church for a job. And the girl's like, you know, sure, like I'll just pretend to be a Christian, I'll trick them all and I need a job so it'll be fine and so she gets hired at this church and you follow her working at this church even though she's not a Christian and the people that she meets and it's so good yeah the romance is top-notch like this is one of the best romance stories ever okay so I loved it um, definitely read it and there's a sequel which is great so Yes, definitely a fast-paced book. Really recommend it. I need to read that again. <sighs> so good. I'm so glad I own it too. Okay, um, so along the same lines, I also will recommend My Foolish Heart. These are some of my favorites now um, by Susan May Warren. So yeah, this book is fast-paced because it's like pretty short and you follow kind of two sets of characters, but main, the main set of characters um, is a girl who has agoraphobia to make a living she runs a radio show from her house and that is it so she barely leaves her house she just has her radio show and that's all she does but then a guy moves in next door he is a former army guy I think Be yes he is because he was in an accident that um, it sounds sad to say but like blew off half of his leg so on one of his legs from the knee down he's missing it um, and he actually feels guilty because the rest of his team was killed during this thing that he was in and So he's struggling with that, but he sees this girl and he's like He's drawn to her. He, he could tell that she has a lot of fear and he just wants to befriend her So it's you know the story of their relationship, which is so beautiful to, to read what makes this book so fast is just that that in particular the main girl character is just like so I don't know she's relatable but also like you just for me I felt so endeared to her because of her struggle and because of what she's gone through um, and I just wanted to see how she made it you know and and I figured that the romance would you know work out and it would be really sweet and, and that was a great part of it but to see her like heal a little bit and and rediscover God's love for her and just all of that I just loved reading it and I couldn't put it down so it was definitely a quick read for me and it might be for you too okay next another recent read is tacos for two by Betsy St. Amant this book is maybe a bit chunkier but like because of what it's about it was a really quick read and I, I really enjoyed it so um, I've talked about this book kind of a lot but I'll quickly summarize um, you follow two characters that have entered a food truck competition and they're kind of rivals but funny enough, they're both also chatting online anonymously through a dating app and they don't know it. So eventually that comes out and they they definitely butt heads in real life, but then on the app, they're like the cutest ever. So it's like funny to see the contrast and you see everything that comes out from that. And I found it really fast to read. I read it in like two days. So that was very fast for me. Okay, and just a last one that I wanna throw in here. Um, I have The Prodigal by Brennan Manning and Greg Garrett. So this book is about a pastor who, he's a pastor of like a mega church and he's an author and he's done all of the big things that you do as like a mega church author and pastor. And he ends up getting caught in what looks like an affair. He didn't actually do anything, but the pictures look like he did. So 
he's basically ruined from that and his wife is like I've had enough like we're done and so he feels completely defeated because then also his church is like dude get yourself together you can't be the pastor if you're gonna be acting like this so he feels betrayed by them um he's in the media because he's that popular like the media gets win wind of it and broadcasts it everywhere so so his dad ends up calling him when he finds out and is like hey come and stay with me you need some help and so he goes and you follow his journey of rebuilding um rediscovering his faith rediscovering his purpose owning up to the mistakes that he's made and it's like a pretty short book but it was just a beautiful story and i ended up really enjoying it um he ends up helping a few people in the small town that he stays in and i just love the setting yeah and i thought it had a great message so i definitely think this is a quick read and and worth it as well so yeah, those are all of the quick read books. This is not a quick video, but um, yeah, I hope that you have some good recommendations from this video now. And I hope that we can all meet our reading goals for the end of the year. Um, but if not, it's okay. Reading is just for fun. So no competition. It's all good. But yeah, these books will help you add to the number if you want. So um, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I will see you in my next one. Bye.